Hi everyone, Stepan here. Uh, I have white finally. So after 13 games, I have 8 wins, 3 losses and 2 draws. So let's hope game 14 goes well. If you can hear a baby crying and people talking, that's my family. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing the Queen's Gambit because I want to play the Queen's Gambit. Uh, let's go Knight C3. My opponent's playing the Slav. I'm gonna play knight f3 and go for the probably anti Meran. Yeah, I'll go e3 and queen c2. Maybe I'll go bishop d3, I'm not sure. I don't really play the Meran that much. I prefer the anti Meran. And as black, I, I think I also prefer facing the anti Meran. So that's weird that I should play it with white. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll go queen c2. Knight bd7 is the move here. This is strange, but it's okay. Now bishop d3 is a bit more efficient, and so is queen c2. So I think I'll go queen c2. I think bishop e7 is a strange move because against queen c2, you want your bishop on d6 supporting e5. Uh, e5 still cannot be played, so now I'm going to go b3, bishop b2, and play against e5. I think bishop e7 is a strategic mistake because you no longer have support of e5 this bishop belongs on d6 i think white is theoretically better although proving an advantage is going to be tough so 13 games eight wins although some of the wins were very suspicious play from my opponents one in the anglon gambit one where my opponent hung, just lost the game in a couple of moves. C5. Okay, that's interesting. That's a very early C5. Very early C5. So you, the usual way to punish C5 is to take on D5. And I'm expecting my opponent's going to take with the pawn. So this is the way to go. If they take with the knight, I'm going to take and develop my bishop with tempo with bishop c4. So I don't think knight takes is playable. I mean, knight takes once is playable. Okay. Takes on d4. So is my knight in trouble against bishop b4? I don't think so. I think I'll just have a good IQP. I don't think bishop b4 works. I always have bishop d2 to prevent knight e4. Yeah, this seems to be a good IQP. I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, so bishop d3, bishop b4, bishop b2, queen c7, rook c1, uh, knight c6, maybe, maybe. Uh, I actually like playing <clears throat> bishop d3 first. Although I could consider bishop b5, but then a6, b5. This is an interesting position. I'm going to go bishop d3. And against knight c6, I'm going to consider knight e2. That's the main, re main reason I played bishop d3 first. To be able to reinforce the blockade. Because I don't want to allow knight takes, pawn takes. Yeah, so now if I go knight c e2 and my opponent goes bishop b4, I can play bishop d2. And if my opponent plays knight e4, I can win a pawn. If my opponent goes knight b4, then... Yeah, that's, that's a problem. I did not consider knight b4. What's wrong with me? I should have considered knight b4. So do I just have to take now? Ugh, I don't want to play a3. Because then knight d4, e d4. I don't want to give up my light squared bishop either. So I'm just going to take. And... Should I castle? I'm not sure. 
Sorry, there's someone at the door. I have to open up. Sorry about that. There's a bunch of people downstairs. I need to lock myself in to have some peace. And I'm very rested today, so I want to play games. So how good will the hanging pawns be on c5 and d5? That's the question. My opponent would like to go d4 quickly. So I, I'm going to castle first. I'm going to castle first. This bishop wishes it was on d6 because then a Greek gift would work. So if d4 immediately takes, queen takes, bishop b2 seems scary. I like my position. I mean, my opponent's structure is compromised, definitely. I just noticed that if I win this game, I will likely cross 2300, which is good. I've been over 2300 before, but not during this series. That's the first step to 2500. So let's try to win. I'm not really sure what my opponent should do. If I were him, I would definitely consider bishop d6. But once I move my knight, c6 could be hanging. Queen d6? Does my opponent want to go knight g4? Eh, maybe. 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 So what would I do on knight g4? I don't think I have to react. I mean, it's threatening mate, but I don't think I have to react now. Let him play knight g4. And I could consider taking on h7, king h8, f4, g6, and rook f3. So let's look at that. So let's say I play something random. Knight g4, bishop h7, king h8 f4, uh, g6, rook f3, king h7, or even g6, bishop g6, fg6. I like that. I could also play h3. I could also play h3, but then bishop d8, bishop c7 seems scary. I can go knight e2, knight g4, knight g3, h5, uh, f3, and then, yeah, I don't want to do that. I'd rather play f4 or g3. Maybe I should just go h3 immediately. But I'm, I, I'm slightly worried that if I play h3, there's going to be bishop d8, bishop c7. But I guess I can stop that with... I'm I'm gonna play h3. Ah, maybe bishop takes h3. No, no, I don't want to play h3. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna develop. I'm not gonna overreact. Let him play knight g4. I can then play g3. Okay, so he wants to play knight g4 after. Uh, after g6. So knight e2, knight g4, knight g3, h5. F h3. Knight of 6. Is there h4? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. I can also go f4.
I can also go knight a4, which is positionally what I would like to play. Knight a4, rook c1 to put pressure on c6. So knight a4, knight g4. f4 doesn't work because of knight e3, g3. g3. g3 seems okay. So yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna react. I don't care. Let him play knight g4. I'm just gonna go g3. I'm not too worried. Especially after g6, the queen doesn't have easy access to any of the squares. I mean, how does the attack continue? Queen of 6 prevented, queen e6 doesn't really do much. I don't really care about this. This seems okay. And I can always play rook d1, bishop f1 if I need to cover the light squares. And I don't see a good way in for my opponent's bishop. Also, I may be able to... I may be able to play rook c1. Okay, my opponent's trading pieces, giving up the c5 square. Uh, rook c1 seems like a natural move. Rook a c1, I like that. If bishop b2, I take with the queen. If knight e5, I go bishop e2, covering f3. And then if bishop h3, rook d1. I just want to set up a blockade on, on c5 and play positionally. I like my position. I think I think I'm better. I mean, I'm sure I'm better. But the question is how easy will this be to to convert? Okay, should I take with the queen or with the knight? If I take with the knight, I'm still on c6. So bishop b7 or bishop d7 are options. But if I take with the queen, I don't know what's better. I'm gonna take with the knight with the queen, sorry. Because now on, on knight e5, bishop e2, uh I can play rook d1. Okay, this is a very quick move. Uh let's go rook d1. To give myself the option to play bishop f1 if needed. And then next I want to go knight c5 to prevent the bishop from easily developing. Well, I just moved my, my rook, so let's go knight c5, active moves. <clears throat> I don't see what bishop h3 does. Okay, I think I want to trade the knight with knight d3. My opponent wants to go knight g4, but then I will have knight f4 winning the bishop. So let's go knight d3. Why is my opponent playing so quickly? This knight is my opponent's only good piece, and if I get rid of it, it's going to be easier to target c6. That's my opinion. It may be wrong, but it's still my opinion. I think this prevents knight g4. I think, because of knight f4 trapping the bishop. And if takes, I take with the rook, and on bishop f5, I go rook c3. Okay, so take with the rook, on bishop f5, rook c3. Okay. 
Okay, so rook c3. The c pawn needs defending. So if I go queen c2, bishop f5, rook c3, bishop c2, rook d6 works. So I think bishop d7 is the only way to defend the pawn. But we are going to double check that if bishop f5 is played. I don't think it can be played, but... My opponent's playing very, very quickly. And I don't think it's justified. I think I actually want my bishop on f3 if if my opponent goes bishop d7. If my opponent goes rook e6, what do I do? Rook e6, maybe bishop d3? Wait, what? What is that? Ooh, smart. My opponent wants to take once, I take, and then rook c8. Smart, smart. But unfortunately, I cannot play a bishop. Bishop a6 to dislodge the rook because there's queen f3. Huh. Interesting defense. <laughs> and it's actually mate. So Rook c6, rook c6, queen c6, rook c8, queen f6, rook c1, mate. Rook c1, mate. That's very funny. Okay, let's just play good moves. I'm not in a rush. I'm gonna go b4. I don't have to take immediately. This way I'm fixing the pawn permanently. Although I could be running into d, uh, d4, d3, which I should have realized sooner. Yeah, I should have played against d4. What am I doing? Oh, actually, d4, ed, queen d, g4, does that trap the bishop? No, because the queen can take. Yeah, I think d4 is correct. Okay. Well, now I can take because queen f6 is check. 
So rook c6, rook c6, queen c6, rook c1, queen f6, check. Yep, I can take. That's a blunder. It's check. You cannot play rook c8. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's trade queens, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm just top material. King g7 was an awful move. Yeah, now I feel I'm I'm easily winning. Because this is a weakness, and it's on a light square, and it's well blockaded. Aha. Uh -huh. Idiot. Stepan, you idiot. You idiot. Oh. idiot okay we're gonna go queen b2 we're gonna try to save the bishop and pretend nothing's happened Oh, I'm such a moron. Why did I do that? Why did I mess this up? I have seven minutes on the clock. We're still fine. Still fine. Okay, at least the pawn is penned now. Now I have to trade bishops. Unfortunately, oh, I can trade bishops. Bishop f1, bishop f1, king f1. Uh, if h3, I have queen d4. If queen h1, I have king e2. So bishop f1, I mean bishop f1 is forced, I have to do it. King takes or rook takes? That's the question. I think king takes. To give my king an escape square. h3 is just not made i can take on d4 with check as long as the pawn remains pinned what does that do it's just a tempo on the queen and i can take both pawns that's an awful move why would you do that he must have forgotten that this pawn is pinned And now the queen's hanging too. Yeah, now I think we're fine. We're gonna be up a, a clean pawn. And then some. I cannot take the rook because I lose my queen.
This seems... Okay, I'm thinking about it the wrong way. But I'm resigning because I don't see a way out of this. Okay, calm down. <clears throat> don't be a bad loser. This is incredible. Uh, my God. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Joined six days ago. Yeah, okay, I'm not... Mm. I'm very upset. So let's have a look at this. This is a bit tough to process. Okay, so I should have taken with the rook. And then there's nothing. Yeah, okay. Can you guys see this? I hope you can. <laughs> yeah, I... I need to calm down before I say anything much worse. I'm extremely upset. <laughs> How long did my opponent take for these moves? One second? Fifteen seconds? Okay, no time at all. I mean, this is, for a 2100 leeches player, this is excellent play. That's all I'm going to say. Congratulations to my opponent. Uh, he played or she played excellently and I got destroyed. Good game. I will see you guys later, hopefully, when I've calmed down. Uh, thank you. Stay tuned for more chess and hopefully better chess. Bye.